I want to take a look at safe mode in this screencast. Safe mode can help you out if you find that Windows won't start normally. You'll, you'll hear people say, "Have you tried safe mode?" You'll hear people, you know, talking on forums and what have you. How, you know, try safe mode. Um, if you don't know how to start in the safe mode, I'm going to show you now. If Windows isn't starting, you've got basically two options that you want to try first. Number one is safe mode and number two is last known good configuration. Um, I've got a video covering last known good configuration I'll put a link in this video to that one. And basically the if you've got any sort of driver errors or anything like that if your computer will start in safe mode there's a chance that we can get back to a point that Windows we can get Windows to start either through last known good configuration or we can also use the um, what I class as an advanced system restore which again um, I've got a link to a video that we've got showing you how to use that and as long as you haven't got any you know if as long as it's just a driver error these methods can get your PC back to a to a point that you can start up so what I'm going to show you now is how to access safe mode and it's very simple all we do is when Windows is starting as soon as you you press you know you, you press your button on your PC or however you boot your PC as soon as you do that start tapping F8 and that'll give you the advanced boot options so I'll show you that now so if we restart just let this one shut down okay we'll just start tapping F8 now at the startup and then we have advanced boot options now top of the list there we've got safe mode um, basically safe mode starts your PC with the absolute minimum driver set it will only use the drivers that it needs to run so if you've installed a, a graphics driver and you think that's what's causing you the issue starting in safe mode won't start that driver up which kind of it'll point you straight to the fact that that new driver is is, um, is causing you trouble um, you can then zip down to the last known good configuration and again in the other video I explain everything about that so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start in safe mode now see Windows starts differently here and what it's showing you is it's showing the files and the drivers that it's loading up to get Windows up and running in a very minimal way as well you know it's uh, you'll see the difference once this has started okay you see the welcome screen come up there nothing looking that different at the moment okay this is where you'll start to see the difference now the obvious thing, if you've got a desktop background, that's disappeared. You'll also see that you've got safe mode in each corner, and very, again, like I say, very minimal look. Um, no internet, no networking, because you haven't loaded um, those drivers up. So things like network cards and everything won't work. Um, but the fact that if in normal or in a normal boot, um, your Windows is failing to start up. If you're now sat in safe mode looking at this it could be that the, the problem isn't that big a deal um, and again now once we get to this point we've got the option of if you haven't done already um, try and last known good config last known good configuration um, or we can also if that doesn't work we can also try the um, the advanced system restore um, by using system restore off the windows disk to get back to your restore points and then roll your pc back that can also help um, but Basically that covers how to start in safe mode, dead easy, start your PC, tap F8, select safe mode and hopefully you'll get to this point and, uh, and that's how to use safe mode and I'd like to thank you for watching.